I'm scared. Shh. I'm so scared. What do we? Don't say a word. I don't want them to see us. They are nowhere to be found. Mba, Maswe, I think they are close by. Yes, ah. yes. You know we need to find them. We just have to continue looking. Maybe we should go back. What do you think? No, 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 no. You know we, we have to find them. I think they are close by. Okay. You go this way. Take this path. Okay. Look for them. While I remain searching, okay. they must be somewhere here. Of course. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> I told you girls that you can run past us. <laughs> Hello. Ah 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 ah. Don't go to the house. Ah. Better keep quiet and come with us if you don't want to be harmed. We are not going anywhere with you both. Yes. Okay. 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 No, don't go us. No. 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 Ah. Wake up. What have you done to my friend? She deserves what she got. Wake up. Where are you taking me to? You quiet. I can't leave my friend. I'm not going anywhere with you. Ah. Okay, baby. Ah, it's time to take a ride. Okay. Let's take a ride home, baby. Get my matches. Get my matches. Open now. What took you so long? Calm down, chairman. The girls gave us tough time. Yes, chairman. No time to waste. Let's get down to business. No, I don't want her to see my face.
What have you done to you, Augustina? I've been abused. Abused? They've taken away my pride. Oh my God. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. in pain. I'm sorry. Somebody help us! I'm, I'm in pain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Somebody help us! <laughs> Imagine this, this world is so wicked, oh, Jim. The poor in pains and no one to help them out, Shukubia. Pictures are meant to bring good memories close to the heart. But when dark past reflects in a picture, it becomes dead. Cannot be cleansed. Whatever it is. I said, say your last prayer. Please, please, please. Stop, please. Stop. 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 I die. Would 
do you want to tell me that I've not heard before? No, tell me. I'm tired of sentence. I want to end it all. Eugenia, you know what I have been through. I've been through hell. I want to go, just let me go. Imagine this. This world is so wicked. Oh, the poor in pain. And no one to help them out. Sorry, I know you are in pains. I'm in so much pains. I don't think I can survive this. You're not going to die. What will happen to you? Those evil I... boys, sorry. Easy, easy. Hey, sorry. Hey. They will never go unpunished. God. Their evil deeds will haunt them wherever they go to. I'm sorry. God. Sorry. <laughs> Why would you allow this to happen to me? Why, why would he allow this? Why did he allow them to carry my pride in such an animalistic way? Augustine is okay. Why would he sit there and watch that wicked soul do this to me? I'm so ashamed of myself. Stop, just stop standing this way. What about me? Have you forgotten that they nearly killed me too? Have you forgotten that? They will never go unpunished. It's okay. Sorry. Easy. Sorry. <laughs> Augustina, I think you should let your auntie know about this. Yes, you want her to kill me. The moment she gets to find out about this, she will kill me. That is if she will even listen to me. What are you, what are you saying? Kill you for what? It's not your fault, Augustina. You were violated by a beast in human form. Someone took away your virginity. Like she needs to support you and help you find the person behind that evil act. Margaret, you talk as if you don't know who my auntie is. <sighs> oh, why not? Oh, this is a matter of life and death. You don't expect your auntie to be wicked, mean, or even prove deaf ears that it won't happen to you. She's a woman. She knows what it means to be raped. Okay. I will let her know. But I just pray she does not blame me for this. I pray so. She will not blame you. She will not. Okay, listen. If you don't have the courage to tell her yourself, when I get to your house, I will tell her. No, 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 no please. Okay, I will tell her myself. I, I have to go now. Are you sure? Yes. Wait. Do, do you want to go alone? Yes, I, I can. Once I get to the house, I will let her know. 
Okay? And, and thank you so much for taking good care of me. God bless you, okay? Have to Are you sure you can go alone? Yes. Augustina. I've not seen her since I returned from school. You mean she has not returned from school by this time? <sighs> Maybe they're having extra moral class or something. Shut up, lawyer. What kind of extra moral class should she be having by this time of the day? But we both know she's not in the habit of keeping late. I believe something must have kept her till now. Augustina. Hey. Okay, let's her come back and meet me here in this house. Please, mommy, I'm hungry. Let's go inside. Oh, let Is very sweet. Very sweet. Auntie, good afternoon. What kept you? I've been waiting for you. And where are you coming back from by this time of the day? Augustina? Mommy, take it easy. Will you keep quiet? <laughs> Augustina, I'm asking you. Where are you coming back from by this time of the day? Auntie, we were having lessons. I told you that's exactly what I told you. What useless lesson were you having? No other student went home. And you're coming back now. Eh? Hmm. Augustina, you want to get pregnant? Eh? You have started seeing men, Abby? Eh? Who is that boy you're seeing? No, Auntie, I'm not seeing any boy. So you want to get pregnant in my house? Eh? What? Hey, not in my house. Because if you get pregnant, I will skin you alive before sending you back to the village. <sighs> Do you hear me? Hmm. Mom, she just told you she was having lessons. Come, tell me the truth. Who is, who is that boy? There's no one. Who is that boy? You don't want to tell me the truth. Stupid girl. Useless girl. Come on, go, 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 go inside that and, and, and clean up that kitchen. Mm. Mommy, I don't like the way you're treating no in this house. So. No oh yeah, follow her. Oh yeah, oh yeah, move. Oh, me. I said move. I said move. Oh, me. Please. 
Dios. Quiet. And your character has changed too. Is anything the problem? Anything you're not telling me? No, no, no. It's fine. I'm alright. Is it because of the way my mom shouted at you? You're supposed to be used to her by now. Sharon. Hmm? I never told you it was because of that. Believe me, I'm fine. Okay? If truly you are fine, or you are smile for me. <laughs> you know I love you. And I love you too. And I will do anything for you. just tell my auntie what happened to me what if they give me the wrong drugs oh god telling her is as good as me leaving that house she will never believe me oh my god what do i do now Why did you tell the chemist man that happened to you? I told him it was food poisoning. Food poisoning? Why would you lie to him? He would definitely tell my auntie. And if my auntie finds out about this, that would be my end in the house. But sorry, you shouldn't have lied to him. What would you have me do? We're talking about your health here. I'm scared. You know that that man can even give you the wrong medication. I'm scared. I know. Don't worry, okay? I'm here for you. That's why you're my friend. What's the night, okay? Yes, come down. It's okay. I believe everything, everything will be alright very soon. Hmm? Just let me go, please. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I want to end it all. I want to end it all. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> without considering the fact that you are harboring a living creature inside of you. Why? That act was an act of suicide. Obwali. It is an abomination in our land. Why did you save me? Why 
Why did you not let me kill myself? How can I let you kill yourself? I mean, who in his right senses will stand there and watch you hang yourself to death? You are having a child inside of you. I can't. If only you know what generated this life inside of me. You would have just allowed me to die. Oh, God forbid. <laughs> God forbid that I stand there and watch you die. I cannot. Even if you're not pregnant, there is no way I will stand as I see you. Kill yourself. It is not possible. There is no reason for me to be alive. My life is miserable. My life is a total mess. Please, I want to die. I want to die. Just let me die. I beg you. I want to die. No. I can't let you die. Talk. I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. It's okay. I'm here, okay? <laughs> this is how it all began. Thank God our house is still in the good oh, shape. Yeah. Honey, huh? help me with it. Okay. Okay. Honey, you might go with the bodies. Okay, I will. By the way, how did you know we are coming back? My mom told me that you are coming back. And I've been here twice, waiting for your arrival. Oh, I remember I told her. How is the city? Fine, everything is fine. I the city so much. Oh. Don't worry, we have a lot of things to talk about, okay? okay. Let's move these things in. Don't worry, let me go. No, don't worry, don't worry. Tell the other one. Are In and out. Oh, yes. Hi. 
get out to clean up. We'll clean. Okay. Can you help me with that one? Sorry, I took a lot of time, you know. Cooking with stove is not my thing at all. Oh, well, uh, stove may be old fashioned, but it's safer. It's safer than our usual cats. What do you know about the kitchen? Just an insult, I'm going to take exception to that. According to men's dictionary, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, you win. Uh, so, what do you have for me? Your favorite. No soup and powder there. Wow. That's great. That's my darling there. You know what is good for me. If I don't take care of my darling husband, who Well, I'm proud of you. And I'm proud of you too. Come and eat. Oh. <sighs> I'm scared. Shh. <laughs> oh. Drugs last night. Yes, I did. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Just. It's okay. Let's go back to bed. Come on. It's okay. What are you doing? You weep again? What's wrong with you? I've told you to stop. How? Why? How can I stop crying? Who on this planet Earth will be in my condition and stop weeping? No children, not even. Honey, I am in deep ocean of loneliness. Come on, don't stop now. 
Have you forgotten what the doctor told us? There's nothing wrong with us. We are okay. And it has been confirmed by more than 15 doctors. Both international and otherwise. You see, we should be expectant, yeah. not remorseful. Honey, I know what the doctors said. I know they said we are fine. But don't forget that I have just one year to slide into menopause. But am I complaining? Am I? You are not because you're a man. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. Let's go. 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 You like this? Uh huh. What does it look like? A leaf. Well, well, it is actually. But it's the symbol of my love for you. But it doesn't. No, no, wait. This is my heart. Actually, it looks as like a leaf, not your heart. No, it looks as cute as my heart. It looks like a leaf, clearly. Well. Why should I take it? I heard your name. My mother is a very smart woman. Very strict and picky. She can detect a lie in just a second, even before the lie is spoken. She is so intelligent that one can hardly outsmart her. She is the principal at the community school here. Was that you? I think. Chioma! Where do I go? I don't know. I can't go with this. There's no way there. She's coming from the way. So close to me. What just you do? Just stay there. Just stay there. Have you eaten, Ma? Are you hungry? I studied psychology 20 years ago at the University of Nigeria Soka with first class. I proceeded to study biochemistry to be a laboratory tutor before I was transferred to this village. So I practically know you more than you know yourself. Now, start talking. I... <laughs> I can't explain, Mom. He... He just passed. You see? You see? Joma, what exactly is your problem? Why have you refused to heed to my advices and warnings? Why do you derive pleasure in disobeying your mother? When will you ever disassociate yourself from that boy? Mom. Will you shut up? I did not bring you here from Edugu to be a prey to everyone. 
If you think you don't have reputation and dignity for yourself as a woman, then you create one. Because I, your mother, am a respected personnel in this town. Mom, I did not bring you here to make me angry. And make sure you don't end up like Annabelle. Mom, Mike is just my friend. No strings attached. Really? Yes. I have said the piece of my mind. And let me warn you. If by any means you get pregnant, if by any means you get pregnant, you will not have my shoulders to cry on. Don't say I didn't warn you. What about the food I asked you to prepare for me? Mom, listen. I don't like when you get this upset with me. Please, I'm sorry. It's not what you think. What do you think I am thinking? Don't patronize me! I made the food in such a way that it would be the last for me. Cheer up! <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no stranger that, I promise. <laughs> oh, stop! <laughs> everyone you may be seated you're having your test right yes let there be full concentration please no shitting no talking no murmuring no sharing Your time starts now. Hmm? And make sure you do not copy from someone else. Make sure you concentrate. I'm watching you. Okay. I guess they are complying, right? All right. Well done. Uh, Mr. Philip, right? Good day, ma. That's very good. Mr. Philip, right? Yes, ma'am. Your friend, Mike, has been the fly who has refused to dispatch from my meat. I have my insecticide. And I want you to tell him too. I don't joke with my meat. I want you to tell him that. I I'm sorry, ma. I... I am confused. Your friend Mike has been stealing my daughter behind me. Tell him to stop. Otherwise, he will get hurt. I'm sorry, madam. I have told him several times to stay away from your daughter, but he wouldn't listen. I am not going to warn Mr. Mike or whatever he calls his name again. I don't want to see him anywhere close to my daughter. Go back to your class and pray. I don't invite you for the worse. Sorry, ma. Philip, Philip, how far? Uh, what is it now? You're not talking to me. What's wrong? Huh? Mike. Yeah? How many times do you want me to tell you to stay away from that bastard of a girl? My instinct has never failed me. As if I know that her mother is so strict and troublesome. Philip, I thought we've talked about this before. Why are you still talking about it again? 
Mike, you have not answered my question. By the way, why do you keep calling her a bastard? She's not a bastard. She's a good girl from a good home. As far as I'm concerned, that girl is a village girl. Where, where are we even talking about your mom? Who is she? Eh? Does she have a father? Does she have a surname? Philip, surname or no surname, you and I know I love her. And her mother is not going to get married to her, by the way. Was she? Mike, there are a thousand and one brighter girls out there you can easily hook up with. Why, Choma? You need to see the way her mother insulted me today. Now you're talking. What did her mother do? I don't have the strength to go into details now. But please, stay away from that girl. Besides, she is not worth it. Just stay away from her. Who exactly is Mike? He was posted for the NYC mandatory program in this community. We have entered the village. Mm -hmm. Now we are heading to the address you give me. Oh. Okay. Ah. Well, this place is very far. Ah. When I told you to add money for me, you were saying, ah. I'm okay, I'm okay. No, this place is foul. Eh? Ah. Uh, thank God for Johnny Mercy. <laughs> I was telling the driver where are we going. He said we have to keep going inside. I was like, ah. Uh, it's okay. Thank God you're here. <laughs> we, we are here to serve our father's land now. Oh, God. You don't join <laughs> us. <laughs> Let's go inside. Yeah, yeah, sure. Don't worry, let me carry it. Uh, okay. Don't worry. How's it, man? Good to see you, man. Good, I like it. <laughs> don't worry, you will enjoy it. <laughs> don't worry, yeah. relax. <laughs> This is nice, it looks nice. Mickey, Mickey! How many bedroom flats? <laughs> Look at you. What do you expect? Seriously, 
Shuma. Look at you. <laughs> so funny. Thank you. You girls are the least people I expect to see in this community. Mm. What are you doing here? Well, I think our Yunshan should answer that. I know. I'd rather throw that question back at you. What are you doing this community? <laughs> My mother was transferred to her. And she brought me along with her. Huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're here too. That's nice. Shuma, I'm still very angry at you. You just left without a word. Ah, come on, Ineka. You don't have to be angry. You know how overly protective my mom can be. She 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 moved me here without a prior notice. I'm sorry. It's okay. Hey, it's okay. You sure? <laughs> 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 nice to see you again. <laughs> oh, pardon our manners. Shoma. Miss Felix. Uh, this is Mike. They are our friends. Um, guys, meet Choma. We all screwed together before she disappeared to this village. Wow. So we now have a friend in the community. Exactly. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. Choma. My pleasure. Choma. You're so fine. Thank you. <laughs> mm. uh, uh, so, guys, uh, man. remember we have a lot of assignments waiting for us. So you, let's go. You have an yeah, assignment. That's true. We. Let's go. We, let's go. Um, let's go, let's go, let's go. We'll see you later, okay? Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Alright, come on, we'll see you later. Me too. Bye. Yeah, bye. Mike! Let's yeah. go! Bye. That was the first time I met him. From that day, he was on me. Oh, I, my friend. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Philip. Listen, this village is blessed with pretty women. <laughs> you and women. Eh? In fact, I started enjoying this village the very first day I stepped in here. One of the benefits of staying in villages like this. <laughs> but see, eh? mm. this is a village. Eh? Mm. No one carry this here, fine boy, the deceive for this small, small village girl. What do you mean? I don't understand. I don't tell you finish. Eh, that reminds me. Yeah? Um, have you heard that the... The Commissioner for Education, he's coming to visit us. Commissioner for Education? Yes. Mike, are you with me? Hello? Huh? Are you with me? What did you say? When is the Commissioner coming? Which Commissioner? Commissioner for Education, what are you? Philip, guess what? My own Commissioner is on her way here. Can you look, can you see her? What are you talking about? Can you about? see her coming? I don't understand. That's my own commissioner. And watch me get her. Hi. Oh, hi. Um, my name is Mike. But my friends call me Mickey. You remember me? I saw you with my friends the other day. Yeah. Right. I remember you. Great. How have you been? Been okay. I've been good. How about you? Very well, thank you. Um, uh, where are you going? Home. I went to get some things from the market. Oh, great. Do you stay around here? Oh, no, no, no. I, I was just taking a walk with my friend. Oh, cool. How about you? You live around here? Going home. Oh, okay. Bye. Um, can I get your number or something? Hey, I promise not to call too much. Exactly what I'll be telling her. If it continues, it means we're not even sure of securing jobs. Okay, fine. You guys win. But we shouldn't fold our hands and watch. Men are not trustworthy these days, you know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Mm. Choma. How do you stay at home all day? Honestly, my friend, I am tired. But what can I do? Nothing. <laughs> anyway, let's just hope and pray your name will be included in the next batch. Hopefully. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Choma, what, what about the mic? Is she saying yes or no? Sophia. I thought we were done talking about Mike. I will about to start all over again. Uh uh. What was our conclusion? So what are we going to tell him? Mm -hmm. What's up? How did it go? I hope I'm in. Cut the demand. You offer us a seat first. Lover boy. Oh, sit. Oh, okay. It's okay. Sit. Sit here. Uh -huh. So, can you talk now? Well, she wasn't explicit about that. Look, Mike. You don't expect her to be plain. It's rather too early. You don't expect a girl you just met to rush into your arms immediately. Hmm? Every woman has dignity. Like she said, you don't expect her to be cheap. But if you play your card well and maturely, you win her heart. Yes. See, I suggest you don't rush her. She's bothered by the delay in her service call up. So take things easy. Hmm? All right. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> so, just that. You're not going to offer us anything. Oh! Yeah. Like chop chop. My manners. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll just get something for you. All right. Okay. He's had whiskey too. All right. Fine. That's okay. If only I knew that dark clouds were gathering against me. I would have given Mike a chance. I cursed the day I met them. I'm scared. Shh. Oh. Continue like this. I'm tired. The whole thing is so tiresome. And I'm becoming frustrated. Agostina. Please. You have to calm down. Okay? Everything will no, be... No, 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 no. Oh, stop. Eugene, uh, stop. Stop telling me to calm down. The same thing you've been telling me for 23 years. Come on now. I think I have to let it out to what? it. Yes. I feel like the whole traumatic experience will leave me if I let it out to him. I'll tell him everything. But, Augustina, you do no such thing. Do you know what that means? Your marriage will crash if you do so. No problem. No problem. At least the nightmare will be over. I might even have my own children. Who knows? I'm tired, Eugenia. I am tired. Believe me when I say I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm tired, I'll tell him. Ah.
What is it again? And they have told you to do away with this guy. It's a 17 years of usage. The guy is tired. He's tired. There's nothing wrong with the car. You had better detach yourself from this guy. He's old. How much? One five. One five. This one's. This one is three thousand. This one is one five, and this one is five hundred. Five hundred. Okay. Give me this one. How many things? Just one. I don't want. I don't want the one that is spoiled. Don't worry, I'll change it for you. Okay. This one, okay. That one is two hundred. This one. Okay. It's two. Alright. And you can actually pour it there. Right? Thank you. We have become customers. Thank you for coming. Thank you. So everything is um one seven, right? Yes, yeah. Okay. Uh, hey, I can't find my Excuse purse. Excuse me, ma'am. Your purse. It fell over there. Thank you. No problem. Uh, uh, your kind is red. <laughs> no problem. I just hold on to it tight so it doesn't fall again. I sure will. <laughs> What's your name? Chioma. Chioma. Yes, ma. Not Okay, ma, take care. Hold on to it tight. <laughs> you said it's how much? That day was the beginning of my doom. Meeting that woman was the worst thing that ever happened to me. How I wish I could take back the hands of time. I wouldn't have picked her purse up. I wouldn't have gone to her. I would have minded my business. It's okay. It's okay, my dear. So tell me, what happened next? Mm. Eugenia, this whole thing will never stop. It cannot stop. It, it keeps increasing every day. Don't worry, I will take you to a doctor. Hmm? A doctor, you said? <laughs> Eugenia, you have no idea of how many doctors I have seen since this whole thing started. Don't worry. This one in question specializes in cases like this. Believe me when I say so. Yes. Yes, ma. 
Oh, I asked after your husband and your children. My husband is fine. We are all fine. Since you're not busy today, why don't you visit me so that we can spend the day together? Oh, oh. Are you? Yeah. Let's go. Go so into your house. This week. Okay. Let me help you. Guys. Thank you. Not at all, ma'am. Wow. <laughs> My mother was posted here to head the community school because they lack good and qualified head teachers. So I had to join her here since I'm still waiting for my papers to be cleared for service. Oh, yes, you're ma'am. such a good girl. <laughs> Your mom is so lucky to have you as a daughter. <laughs> Thank you so much, ma'am. Ah, you're well trained. <laughs> Thank you. Ma, how about your children? Are they inside? I don't have a child. Oh. I'm so sorry, Ma. Ma, you're crying. I am my mother, I am childless. At my age, I, I feel so desolate. Sometimes I want to end my life. I have become an object of ridicule amongst other women. I'm so lonely. I will always be here for you. Anytime you need anything, I'll be here to help you do the chores, everything that you need. Just okay. consider that you have a child now. And I know that God will grant you your own children. The girl is a wonderful person. <laughs> she cooks well too. Very unlike girls of nowadays. But how come you got to know this case so much? To the extent of entrusting her with your cookies and your kitchen. Considering the fact that he's not from this village. I knew you would ask. I had a very long discussion with her on that. She told me that she had to join her home when she was coming here, when she was posted to head the community school. She's so nice and wonderful. Amanda, right? Yes. How are you? I'm fine. And what do you have in your bag? I was asked to buy some pipettes. 
Oh, okay. So go and drop it in the kitchen. The door is open. Okay. Oh, can I help you? Yeah, sure. After you drop it, okay. Thank you, <laughs> I Are you going to wash that heap of clothes? I'm almost done. I've been washing already. So happy. Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Let me stop. You've already washed it. Oh, honey. Okay. okay, I'll join you soon. Let me just round up with the. I became a regular visitor in their home. I spent most of my time with them. I literally did everything for them. And I don't even know how it happened so fast. Meanwhile... Mike is complaining bitterly. Is it that you don't love him or what? You've refused to never see him, nor send message to him for a very long time now. You know that's not fair. Choma, with what you're doing, you're still making change his mind. Nick, I am just being careful. You know I am my mother's only child. And I do not want to do something that will tarnish my family's image. Besides, I don't know if I'm ready for relationship issues, heartbreaks and all that. I'm just trying to be extremely careful when it has to do with a man. That's all. Mini. Look, I like him. Why are you avoiding him? I am not avoiding him. Fine, fine. I have been busy lately. Got things doing. Busy doing what? The last time I checked, you don't have anything doing yet in this village. Yes, you're still waiting for your call-up letter to serve. Oh, so that makes me jobless. Oh. Nika, can we stop this argument? Choma. That is not what I'm talking about. What I mean is, Okay, if you don't like him, just tell him. So that he will do something meaningful with his life. It's instead of nasty disappointment and heartbreak all the time. Love lecturer. <laughs> but I told you, I just said I like him. Fine, I will see him soon, okay? okay. Can we stop talking about Mike and talk about the tailor? Where is Sophia? Hmm. Please though, don't ask me, I don't know. Okay, so let's go to the tailor. That okay. clothes. The um, one from the tailor, if you go yeah, yeah, from the Hey, thanks, man. Philip. Honestly, I don't understand Choma. 
she's been acting too busy for me. Yeah, because I've been expecting her to talk to me, but she's not saying anything. And I've been thinking, I hope those village boys haven't won her over me. Mike, please. If this is the topic you want to start your day with, it is definitely not going to work for me. Please, why do you want to spoil my day for me? Come on, Philip. I'm crazy about her. And Sophia is crazy about you. Mike, you have to use your brain. Sophia comes from a very rich home. Is it because she's serving here in this village? That girl she is made. Mm. Who is Joma? Who is she for crying out loud? No, please. Who is she for crying out loud? See, we have been here in this village for long. And we are the ones, we are the people that are going to tell you all the happenings in this village. I know that girl, that girl is a nobody. And her mother is not comfortable with the whole thing. Philip, please. Please, okay? Please. I'm just... This works. I'm just crazy about her, okay? Don't crucify me. Oh, Mike, I am not trying to crucify you. See what I'm saying? Somebody is busy falling for you. And you are there loose garden, dying for another girl. You need to borrow some sense, man. Problem. Am I not beautiful enough? You are beautiful. Why? Then, why is it that you're not saying the love I feel for you? <sighs> I, I know, but... I... What, what, Mike? What? I love someone else and she's your friend. Yes, Choma is my friend. But that does not stop the fact that I love you. I mean, you're not going to marry her afterwards. Besides, you're loving the wrong person. She doesn't even care about you. And I know Choma than you do. Sophia, it still doesn't change anything, all right? I love her. Please, spare me that crap. All I want is a little love from you. Is that too much to ask? Listen, can we talk about something else? Can we talk about some something else, please? Like what? Anything. My Choma doesn't love you. I, I do. Look at me. I'm beautiful. I love you. I, I just don't think this is right. I mean, she's your friend, you know? I mean... Mike? Choma does not love you. Just proposed to me. Congrats. 
Safi? Ah, ah, what? You just walked off. I told you, Iman just engaged me. Mm -hmm. Does it mean anything to you? Wait. Are you jealous or something? I said congrats. What else do you want me to say or do? Sorry, I'm not engaged with you. Congrats. Sophie, you're always like this. What is eating you up? Sophia! Sophia! Sophie! Sophia! Sophia. Philip, good morning. Uh, morning. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. Is Mike around? No, he, he just stepped out, not quite long. Is everything all right? Yes, everything is all right. It's just that I brought something for him. Oh, you brought something for him? What was that? Um, is this something I can keep for him until he returns? Mm -mm. No, I will wait for him. I don't know when he's going to come back. I will sit and wait for him. I believe he will come back soon. Mm. If you insist. I was actually on my way out. Okay. So just... I will just sit here and wait for him. Mike. Hi, Sophia. You, you went that I've been waiting for you. Oh, yeah. Please, have you seen Chioma, your friend around? I've been searching for her everywhere. I can't find her. No, I've not seen her. Anyway, I, I brought food for you. Do you know where I can find her? No. Oh, Mike, you are back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How far? Uh, I forgot my identity. Oh, okay. Um, what did you bring? I, I knew you would not have enough time to make food for yourself. So I took it upon myself to make food for you. Oh. Um, that's very thoughtful of you, but I'm not hungry. Thank you. Mike, I took my time to make this meal. This meal cost me a lot. It's usually not good to refuse something from someone that cares. Um, uh, see you guys later. Right. Accepting. Sophia, you see, um, I've told you time and time again that I can't have anything to do with you because I am with your friend. I am in love with your friend. Your best friend. Okay, it's it's not right to know that I'm with your friend and you're coming close to me. That's that's betrayal. Mike, I took my time to prepare this meal. This food cost me a lot. And you're rejecting it because of somebody that doesn't even want you. Oh, uh, really? Mike, I love you. You will like this food I made. I, I made it with love. You will like it. Okay, thank you. Mike, are you going? You will like the food though. You're just going inside. You don't want to eat the food. Come and take the food though.
Sophia, where are you coming from with food flask? Nowhere. Wait, let me see it. Ah, ah. Is there something inside? There is nothing inside. Are you sure? Huh. Ah, Sophia, are you okay? You look sad. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. Come on, tell me. What's really eating you up? Did anybody break your heart? Nick, I said I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. I am fine. Huh. Sophia, I don't understand you these days. You're not telling me anything. Are you sure you're okay? Because you don't look okay to me. Can't I just keep my face wide now? Please, I'm fine. I can handle whatever is bothering me. Okay, oh, madam. And since I've seen you, hmm, can you escort me to Amada's house for the clothes? Yeah. I cannot go. Uh -uh. Sophie. I can't go. Please, I'm not in the mood. Thank you. But we had an agreement about this now. Why is she behaving like this? She's mostly around during weekends, man. Weekends, okay. Yes. Today is Thursday, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll come to your house on Saturday morning to see her. I guess she will know that um, we are not ghosts. That would be very nice, ma. She'll be glad to see you. I'll come. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, ma, let me go and do the dishes. Okay. Thank you, sir. I'm what? talking to you. Don't talk to me. Why? Why? What's the problem? What's the problem? Are you asking me? Choma, really? Choma, you've been avoiding me. You've been scarce. You don't even have my time. What's happening? Mike, I'm sorry. I've been frequenting this, my new friend's house. She needs help and I'm trying the best I can to assist. Choma, that's why you have forgotten about me. That's why you have forgotten the fact that there's someone, somewhere, who is madly in love with you. You hate me so much. Oh, why would you say that? I don't hate you. I was actually planning on coming to see you once I get home. See, I'll be very honest with you. I don't like this. I don't like the fact that you don't have time for me. And I don't like the fact that you spend all your time with your old found friend. Sometimes I feel like you've been bewitched. Mike, don't say that. They are nice people. They do not have a child and I'm trying the best and I'm trying to keep their company. They're a couple, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, it's no problem. Uh, I'm sorry. You're really? sorry? Yes. Chuma, you're sorry? Okay, if you're truly sorry, tell me. What about my proposal to you? I hope it's a yes. Mike won my heart, not just because he loved me, but because he was patient enough to resist all the advances made to him by my trusted friend. Love, you saw, you love, you never. 
she and all of Love is mysterious. Hey, oh, love oh dear world. It can hold you down. It can change you. It can rule over you. It's a fun and a not Love is so sweet, love is dangerous, love is coated with so many things, oh love, oh, love, love, Just when I was beginning to enjoy Max's companionship, I never knew my name is being discussed somewhere. Then, an august visitor appeared. So tell me, how do you feel since you started taking the medications the doctor prescribed for you? Hmm. So far, so good. It's been like I've never had any any nightmare everything has been wiped away i told you didn't i eh? well you did but um i don't think it's only that prescription there's this girl that comes to visit me that girl has given me so much peace of mind very nice girl <laughs> do you mean amanda my daughter oh no 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 who is this girl? Do I know her? I don't know if you know her or not. Her name is Chioma. She said that her mother heads the community school. Very well brought up girl. That girl has brought so much joy to me. Each time she comes to my home to help me with chores, I feel I have everything. So much. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. God will bless her. Amen. Oh. Amen. Sorry. <sighs> so, how long did you say she will be staying? She's not supposed to stay long. She only said she was going to the school to conduct some meetings with other teachers for the preparation of their work. I don't know why she's taking time. I'm sure she'll be back soon. Just be patient, please. I guess I'll have to keep my meeting with my friend, but I'll come back. Um, hold on. Let me try to call her again, and I'm sure she'll be on her way. Don't bother. No, no. Don't worry. I will revisit. Okay? I really wanted you to meet her. I want to meet her, but she's not here, but I'll come back. <gasps> okay, oh, I'm my... not happy. No, no, no. Try and be happy. I will come back. Okay. Whenever she comes back, just call me. I'll come. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I can imagine. Come, come. 
I'm a welcome. How are you, my angel? I'm fine. Let me have your bag. <sighs> Why did you take so long? My dear. Easy. The meeting was prolonged with so many issues. Oh. oh. And that woman I wanted you to meet just left. Auntie Augustina. She has been waiting for you. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. I don't think she has gone for. Let me call her to come back. That's no, 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 no. Chuba, please don't bother. Don't bother. I'll see her when next she revisits, okay? I am so tired and hungry. If you have anything in the kitchen, just go and bring it for me, I beg. Okay. Let me get you your food. Quickly, quickly, bring my slippers. I so wished she stayed back to see my mother. All this wouldn't have happened. I wouldn't have drenched into this situation. But she missed to see her when she was supposed to. I helped them out of pity. I never knew they had other plans. And it was that plan that put me in a miserable life. Though I suspected their plans, but I was carried away by their compliments and I thought they were decent people. Did you see other plans? Senses? You want me to, to do what? To condescend to that level? Oh, no, come on, come on, come on. Are, are you okay? Look, 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 look. If this is a joke, just stop it, please. I wouldn't want to hear such in this house anymore. Let's just end it. Nonsense. The wisest thing you have ever said. Huh? That's a very good idea. Mm -hmm. But he kicked against it. He doesn't approve of it. He doesn't like it. Why? I don't know. He warned me not to mention such again in his presence. Oh. No. But you made a very good suggestion for him. He should stick to it. Oh. Why is he behaving like this? Eh? You are the one who is supposed to be worried. Not him. Mm. The reverse is the case, so he said he does not like it. I shouldn't mention it. Mm. 
And what do you say the girl's name is? Chioma. Ah, it's okay. Mm. Don't worry, eh? I have some plans. What plans? Is it not obvious to you that that woman is a witch? A witch woman? I mean your brother's wife. Yeah. Well, yes. Because I can see that she has blindfolded your brother from seeing the good thing. Yes. <laughs> Mama Amanda, you, you, you amaze me. You surprise me. Maybe you are the only person in this village that don't know that I have this own Dominique. Since M. Menike came back after staying many years in the city, decided to come to this village without a child and a barren woman. Do you know the kind of shame and embarrassment M. Menike is bringing to our family? Some people even talk it to my hearing and uh, his brother can even pregnant a woman. Can you imagine that? So I decided to have this own M. Menike. I don't want to have anything to do with oh, him again. Uh, uh, Zoma, uh, it, it has not gotten to that. You can't disown your own brother. You know he's your only brother. You can't disown him like that. If you did not help me in, in a situation like this, who will help him? Tell me. Wait, um, from the information I have, I thought that woman is your friend. God for it. That witch, that witch can never be my friend. You see that barren witch, she can never. I'm just camouflage, I'm just camouflage, you know. Uh -huh. Yes, I so want her out of the way so that your innocent brother can see the chance to marry a woman. I mean, a woman with a fruit of the womb. Yes, or better still, you force a woman to your brother. Yeah. If that witch proves stubborn. Yeah, force a woman on my brother. Why the person you say that is a witch is still there? Or the Kwasif? Um. <coughs> It's not easy what we are talking about. So you are close to her. How do you suggest I go about it? Mm. I don't need it. Come on, Zoma. Are we quarreling? We are not quarreling. Oh, that's correct. But you are my problem. Uh, how? Me, your problem? I uh, don't understand you. You are my problem. You are my elder brother. That's correct. You are not getting younger. You are right. I have seven children. The wife you married all these years have not even experienced miscarriage. And you fold your hands and think all is well? An African man like you? Oh, you in that matter, many Is Oh, well, Osama. I have that regard for you as my younger brother, but how not have you come to my house to embarrass me? Over my wife's childishness. I, I, I won't take that. I, I take this. I take exception to that. America. Just, just, just look, look at your life. Look at the type of time you're trying. Oh, this is Corolla, yeah? Professor Emeritus. Oh, this is Corolla. Corolla L E, yeah. Professor Emeritus. Oh, what about? How many years abroad? How many years in Nigeria? America. And you are not seeing what that evil woman have turned you into. You don't want to wake up from your slumber and chase that evil woman away. I come here to inform you. It has been announced 
that our family is going to produce the next king. Oh, that's a good development. And you have been chosen that you will only become king if you have a son of your own. Emenike, you have to do something. Because if you lose that kingship, just consider yourself an outcast. So soon, an outcast. Because nobody will have anything to do with you anymore. Those I did not tell you. Well, 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 Uzama, Uzama, Uzama. Uzama, come on, come and talk to me. Africa, eh? That would be a bad idea. at all. Why would they be sending you all the way to Kano to go and invigilate an exam? With just three days notice prior to the date. It's not fair now. My dear daughter, you see, it's not anyone's fault. It's an emergency. As a matter of fact, Mrs. Okoro of Obunagu Community School was supposed to go for this invigilation. But she took ill yesterday. So I was called up to go and replace her, okay? But why does it have to be you? They would have chosen someone else to go and invigilate the exam, not you. How, how am I supposed to stay in this house without you? How am I supposed to do things without you in this house? I'm going to miss you, and you stop sounding like you will not miss me too. Come on, come on, baby girl. I understand how you feel, okay? But trust me, You'll be fine. And I know it. It's just three weeks and I'll be back. Mommy, okay? Three weeks is not just. Three weeks is not just without my mother. Choma. Choma. You see, you're no more a kid. You are a grown lady already. And I know you can take very good care of yourself and the home. Besides, the kitchen is well stuffed with various items. Just for you. And before you know it, three weeks is here and I am back. Okay? Stop it. I will stop it. I'll stop this. Come and help me pack my things. You're no more tata. It's not about the food. It's about you being around me. Oh, oh baby girl. It's okay. Hmm? You see, before you know it, Three weeks is over and I'll be back for you. Okay? It's alright, it's alright, darling, it's alright. It was that trip that cost everything. If I had known, I would have begged to follow her on the trip. I kept on asking myself, why would they choose her for that trip? If she had fallen ill, it would have been better because I would have stayed back and taken good care of her. But no. <laughs> she went on that trip. She went on the trip to Kano. And evil crept in and showed its ugly face.
What? Marry your husband, you say? But how can you even suggest that? Like, do you understand what you've just said to me? Pity me. I do not want my husband's lineage to be cut off. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it offends you, but... There is no but. Do you understand what you're asking me to do? If I were to be your daughter, would you have such on this? Don't you just calm down and listen to me? There is nothing to listen to. I will not. I cannot. I will never marry Uncle M. &K. Besides, I have a boyfriend who has promised to marry me after his service. Let's just pretend you never said this, please. I know your fears. Because he's old. Choma, this is one favor you will never regret. Just do it for me, please. I will never marry a woman again. Never. Excuse me. What is it? Touch you. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Don't do that. Stop. Wait, wait. I'm Are you trying to force me? No, I'm not. Just relax. No, listen. Stop. Just Are you trying to have non-consensual sex with no, me? No, I'm not doing that. So what are you doing? Just relax. Come on. Wait. Oh, see, stop. Stop now. Wait, don't... Wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What if someone sees us? Why do you hear this? Me, chum, I get married to that old man. Mike! Mike! Choma! to your house to look for you, but you were not there. Someone told me you were crying. What's going on? Please do not add to my pain. If you're here to ask me to marry your husband, I don't want to hear what you have to say. I'm not in the mood. Like I said, babe, somebody told me that so I ran to your house, you were not there. I suddenly looking for you. Because I know that if I was the one, you would do the same for me. <laughs> I trusted him. I don't know why he had to do this to me. I don't know why he had to break me this way. I don't know how I do the same thing. Why will he be sleeping with my best friend? I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. <laughs> I know. It's okay. Life is full of disappointments and betrayals. <sighs> had a lot of things about him. Rumors had it that he has been sleeping with all the other copper girls and even the community girls. Yes. Forget him, okay? I am so broken, I am so broken, I am so... I don't deserve this, I don't. Are you pregnant, or? I don't even know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh. Well, it's okay, it's fine. You have to come with me. 
Your safety is very important. Okay? Come with me to my house. You know, he knows you caught him red handed and he might try to hurt you. Especially now that he knows your mother is not at home. Come with me. You're safe in my house. Just pull yourself together, right? So, uh, they can't be trusted. So, advice. I've told you to stop crying. I'll get you out, okay? Philip, I feel so stupid. I, I don't, what came over me? How did I get into this mess? What do I do? How do I get her back? How do I even face her? Come on, Mike. No one died here. Stop making it look like one. See, you are a man. And as a man, no one has the right to control how many women you roll around with. Ah, uh, Philip, come on. I just cheated. I just cheated with her best friend. Don't you understand? Guy, you have to wise up. Cheating may be normal thing. Eh? Last, last, you see no married that girl, sir. Even married men, they have one or two aside. They have one or two girls aside. So why do you want to kill yourself over nothing? Just ordinary cheating. If she comes back to you, please do everything possible to keep the relationship away from her mother. Because that is my major concern. Please, I'm begging you. I want to finish my service here in peace. I don't want Wahala. I don't want any problem. Please. finished. What have I done? What have I done? Oh, come on. Stop acting like a child. We actually planned this together. Why are you regretting it because of her? What? Listen, I just betrayed the love I have for her. She's your friend. You betrayed your friend, Sophia. Don't Sophia me. I am human, and I have feelings. I know Choma is my friend. Come on. I mean, he's a national kick. Have yours and let others have theirs. Hey, listen. I am no national kick. Do you understand? I intend to get married to her. Look at what you have cost. Marriage indeed. Is the likes of me exempted from getting married? Please pay me those crabs. Excuse me. What have I done? How do I get out of this? How do I even face her? How? This is wickedness. Absolute wickedness. How could you do a thing like that to our friend? So, so you, you, could not, you, you could not find any other boy in the village to, to, to sleep around with. Nika, you're stupid. Look at her. Saint Neka, was it not you who snatched Amaka's boyfriend from her that made her leave for the city? Was it not you? Oh, you've suddenly gone mute. You can't talk. Advisor. See, that scenario was different. It wasn't the same. Amaka broke up with him. However, I apologized to her and I promised her not to ever have anything to do with the guy again. Oh, shut up. Look at her. Pot calling kettle black. <laughs> For all I know, Mike is very single. And that makes him a national asset. Mm -hmm. Have yours, shut your mouth and let others have. <laughs> See, Sophie, however you say it, or look at it, what you did is totally wrong. You betrayed our friend. Sophie, you are heartless. 
I don't regret it, my dear friend. Excuse me. often say that it is those who are close to you that will hurt you and stab you in the back. Sophia, now that you have slept with the love of my life, what is your profit? Does it make you feel any better of yourself? Oh, please stop it. Don't make it look like I'm a bad person. You here. are a bad person. Are you holy? You're talking as if you've not tested another soup. Oh. The last time I checked, Mike is not married to you. What do you expect? Eat your cake and have it. You barely have time for him. We are all single and searching. That gives us the right to enjoy it with whosoever we choose to. And please stop making noise. I should have known that your friendship with me was fake from the one. But you know what, Sophia? Mark my words. When you finally find love, someone will make you feel as bad as you have made me feel. I promise you. As my what? My God? Girl, you're not my God. And you can't determine my future. I don't even know why I'm standing here wasting time because I caught this waste of time. It was a very painful experience. More painful because it was caused by a close friend. I had to put my pieces together. Put everything together and forge ahead. Loneliness became my best friend. Because my mother returned late. I started visiting that home again. Lo and behold, the worst happened. I've seen so many young girls suffer depression or because of their relationship. But my question is, why would someone take his whole life just to take us one idiot somewhere? Cheated on him. I mean, it does not work it. I loved Mike very much. He promised never to do anything that would make me feel bad. I have read so many books, so many philosophers. Plato, Frederick Engel, Frederick Nietzsche, Socrates, Aristotle, even back home here, two weeks ago, talking about love and human existence. You see, no one can discern the heart of man. Oh yes, the heart of man is full of evil. This it. You see, this same fellow, this young man we are talking about, has been hopping around, trying on beautiful girls in this village, playing Casanova here and there, to the extent that my own niece was a victim. Oh, yes, she got her pregnant. Though we shocked to hear of more revelations about him. 
What? Mike got your niece pregnant? But I did not tell you the truth. Love and relationship. You're not a child's play. It's not for the boys. It's for men. <laughs> You see, you need a mature man, not less, a mature man to take good care of you. Just like uh, you must have read about that famous warlord who wrote a poem because Simon found he won the heart of a beautiful way. Uh, yeah, you need a mature man that you take very good care of you. Sweetie, how are you? You're sweetie? No, no, don't touch me! What did you do? Don't touch me! I said don't touch me! How did I end up in your bed? Don't, don't touch me! Everything went smoothly. Really? I'm telling you. Though she wasn't happy, and I saw sadness in her eyes, and I felt for her. Hmm. I pray it hits the net. Then you will take me on vacation as the master planner. Yes. Wait a minute. You mean you planned all this? <laughs> Augustina, you are a very funny woman. I told you to leave everything for me, that I will handle it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't bother yourself. Hmm? This is just the first step 
Okay, now yeah. The first step. Mm -hmm. You see why I talk about you? <laughs> eh? You see why I talk about you? Really? <laughs> ne, but how did you do it? I can imagine. Hey. Well, if you must know, I found out that the copper harboring Chioma's lover doesn't like Chioma. And he never supported their relationship. Rather, he wants the guy to date Chioma's friend. Do the mathematics. It is very easy. Then I contracted him for the aid. You understand? Of which he came up with some perfect ideas. And God rewarded it. Why is this woman not here? She's supposed to be here. <laughs> Don't tell me this woman has played me, because it won't be funny. <sighs> okay? I hope you were careful. So that no one will trace you to this place. I was, nobody followed me. Good. This is balance. Huh? You are a perfectionist. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for keeping to your words. Remember. Remember to keep the secret. Okay? Nothing happened between us. In fact, you don't know me. And we never met. Okay? My mouth is sealed. Good. Now he's doing business with you. Now he's doing business with you, madam. Thank you. Let me be on my way now. Sure. Bravo. You are a smooth criminal and a betrayer. Sophie, how could you? I can't believe this. So, it's you that is behind all these happenings. God. Sophie, you know what? You are a green snake in the grass. You just stay away from me. I don't even trust you. That means you can wake up one day and kill me. Can you imagine? You know what? I will expose you. Wow, really? You want to expose me? Are you sure you want to expose me? How was my acting? That was fantastic. You don't even need to go to an acting school. <laughs> ah, thanks, sweet. Um, let's go straight to the business of the day. My share. <laughs> Wait. Is that why you followed me to this place? You don't even trust me. I don't even know why I brought you to do this business. Look at who is talking. What do you know? Do you even know who set the ball rolling? Do you even know who brought you in? Um, by the way, I had to trail you to this place just to be sure that nothing goes wrong. You know you can't trust people. Hurry up, my sure. You're a coded criminal. <laughs> Don't see me as one. I had to do it to help myself. And my friend Mike. 
You know, Choma's mother has been lamenting about my coming close to her daughter. And you know how Mike is adamant. So I just had to do it. To save myself. To save us. Because at a point, I thought that woman is going to give us a negative report. Of course she can do that. Don't you know so? I thought so, but she looks nice. It's okay. Let's go. But this money is small. Please manage it. That's what I have. Please, let's go. Chama! Positive! I saw the pregnancy test strip under your pillow and it shows positive. What have you been doing with, with yourself? Hey, Chama! So after all my warnings and carefulness, you still went ahead and laid on protected with that copper boy? Now you're pregnant. You're pregnant! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! If I lose it now, if I, I feel like strangling you now, look at how you've ruined your future, ruined your career, ruined everything. If you do not have any sense of dignity for yourself as a woman, what about your family reputation? What about your mother's respect? Jama, what have you done to yourself? Eh? Is it because I allowed the both of you to be friends? Is that where I made a mistake? Mama, it's not the more responsible. It's not what? The more... What did you just say? Oh, oh, oh. Has it gotten to this? You go around sleeping with all these village radicals? You open your legs at any man you see? Is that what you do now? Tell me who is responsible. Who is responsible? Slap whoever it is out of your mouth now. It. Madam, this your leg, my boy. My friend, will you go ahead and knock on that door? Been. It's been a while. Wait a minute. Augustina. Tina. Maggie. Tina. Maggie. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where have you been? This girl. I have searched this world. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Where have you been? By the way, what are you looking for in my husband's village? <laughs> I've searched everywhere for you too. You mean this is your husband's village? Yes. Oh my god. What a coincidence. I was posted here. Really? Yes. This is so unbelievable. So old. Mama. Tina. Tina. Please girl. Hold on, hold on. Chama. Is she your mom? Are you Choma's mother? Yes. Oh, she's my very good friend. Really? Well, Choma used to be a wonderful daughter until she destroyed herself. How? She's pregnant. And she said that whoever is responsible lives in this compound. So I have come to see the person. Are you pregnant? That's the present she welcomed me with when I returned from Kano. Biko Tina, do you know what Professor Ibenike that lives in this compound? Please, 
I want him to marry her since I'm unable to produce a child. Oh, I see. Augustina, you know what? You must be out of your mind. You must be out of your mind. Your husband to marry my own daughter as what? How come I know what exactly? A man old enough to be her father? Why even a grandfather? Oh, well, mother, well, forgive my manners, madam. Well, just calm down. Now, calm down, you see. We love your daughter. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you! You took advantage of my daughter! And I'm here! Spilling trash! What law are you talking about? Eh? You have the nerve to talk nonsense! You old fool! What do you know about love? What do you know about love? In fact, I must make sure the new boy gets to hear about this. Rubbish! And you? What are you still doing there? What are you still doing there? <laughs> Nonsense! back then in her secondary school days. She was like a sister to me. She was raped by some group of boys. And as a result of the rape, she got pregnant. Her aunt threw her out of the house. I supported her to feed until she vanished and I never set my eyes on her again until today. Mom, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Mike broke my heart. I caught him cheating on me with my best friend, Sophia. I was so hot. I didn't know what to do. And you were not even around to console me. I had to find comfort in their home because they were the only people I knew. I cannot even tell how I ended up in his bed. I cannot even explain how anything happened, Mom. It's okay. It's okay, my child. You see, you're already pregnant. And there is nothing you or anyone can do about it. They needed a child desperately. And that was why they did what they did. Now you're pregnant. We have to consider marriage. Marriage? I cannot marry that old man. I cannot. My child, you have to. Okay? You have to. I, 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 I cannot allow you to give birth to a bastard in this home. You have to go and live with them until you put to bed. Then, you will know what to do. Mom! Yes. With all my dreams shattered, I had no choice but to marry an old man. A man old enough to be my father. They took advantage of my kindness. So I moved in to stay with the man responsible for my pregnancy. Apparently to be a second wife. That was the biggest mistake of my life. And I will never forgive them.
just when I was about to accept my fate. The real abomination unveiled itself. Tonight there is nothing you can do. You caused this yourself. You betrayed the love and trust we have for each other. John. Listen, I, I promise to be grateful to you for the rest of my life. There is nothing you can do. All over the place, so you. What are you doing here? Who's with him? Who are you? Ma? Sir, who are you? I came to apologize to her. Your apology does not mean anything right now. Did you not tell him that you're married? My dear, just go and never come back. You broke her heart. She almost committed suicide because of you. Just leave. Gee, let's go inside. Let's go. Let's go. Choma. Go. Go. Do not come back. She let's go. She is married to an old man. My, I give you my body, everything. Yet you still claim for her. Reasons I don't know. Anyways, in case you change your mind, stay very much away from me. Stay away from me. Please make it real quick, because I still have a lot of people queuing up. not ready yet. Are you not going to school today? Don't worry, I'll join you later. Just... You will join me later? Mm. I don't understand you. Have you forgotten we are supposed to go for CDS today? Wait, Mike. Don't tell me it's because of that girl. Philip, you need to stop, okay? You're not helping matters. You're making matters worse, please. I am not helping matters. How? See, Mike, this girl don't leave you commods now. Not mm. allow this babe spoil your service here for you. Eh? She don't work out commods and she must have forgotten you wherever she is. You need to sit up. Me, I don't cut out. The real episode began the moment Matron Elizabeth visited. Just when I thought she would be the child I never had. Look at what has happened. Matron, I invited you so that you can advise me as I've always done. Because I am really devastated. I don't know what to do. Margaret, Margaret. <sighs> Calm down. It is a mistake that can happen to anyone. I know Choma a whole lot. She was a good girl. Huh? Please, calm down. But Mitran. But I raised her up well. Just like a mother will raise her own child. 
So where did I go wrong, Metron? Margaret, I know how you feel. I know how you feel. But then, you cannot abandon her. At this point, she needs you the most. I believe things happen for a purpose. Yes, I know too. But not with an old man. A man old enough to be her father or even grandfather. Metron. Sad though, I believe she will find happiness someday. Anyways, I would like to see her and give her words of comfort. Please. Okay, let me go in and change so that I'll take you to her. No problem. Where she stays. Okay. Excuse me. I opened that door. I opened the door to everything. Mom, Matron. Yeah. Shabba, my dear. You're welcome. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. You didn't tell me you were coming. She, she asked to see you. Yes. That's why we're here. Okay. Come inside. So, how are you today? I'm very well. All right. Let's go. So, how are you feeling today? Very well. Come in. I hope you're taking your routine drops. Yeah. Matron, I was planning on coming to the orphanage with mom for my birthday. Yes. <laughs> wow, it's okay. The children would be glad to have you. Of <laughs> I heard that you are married. So I came to see you and know how you're faring in your new home. <laughs> eh, boy? <laughs> Hey, make yourself comfortable. Thank what you. What do I offer you? Ah, don't bother yourself. Sit down. Just relax, mm. okay? You don't yes. want anything. No, 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 no. We are fine. Ha, make sure in my house you don't want anything. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. <laughs> it's like we have visitors. Oh, sorry, man. Yes. Uh oh. Good day, Professor and Mrs. Emerike. You're welcome. Uh -uh. Augustina! Hey! Augustina, is this you? Hey! What a small word. After many years, Augustina! Um, hey! Do you both know each other? Yes, I know her. A heartless woman who abandoned her children in our orphanage home and ran away. What? She ran away without traces. Now, Augustina, have you seen it? Faith has made us to see again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mitro. You are sorry? You are sorry. Sorry for yourself. For having such heart, such wicked heart to abandon your children and run away. Augustina. Hi! What? It's for your wife. So you've had children and you never mentioned them to me. Even when the doctor asks you, you lied to them. Hey! Goodness me. This is not happening to me. I am sorry. I'm deeply sorry. On several occasions, I, I wanted to tell you, but I was scared. I was ashamed. I was trying to save our marriage. I know I bribed those 
those doctors to conceal the truth. I never knew that my past would hurt me. It's unbelievable. It's so sorry. God. I was raped. I was raped at a tender age. On my way back from school. It left me with so much sorrow. I was ashamed of having a wanted baby. It threw me out of a house. And a stranger took me in. And it, it became unbearable when I gave birth to a set of twins. I didn't know what to do. I was devastated. I didn't know how to take care of them. I had no other option. And so abandoned them in an orphanage home. I'm sorry. 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 This is so beautiful. I'm sorry. It was the red case. The memory of it has been giving me nightmares. It's something I do not want to remember. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Well, I'm so sorry about that. We'll all, we'll all have our dark past. Did you say it happened to your second experience? specialize in rape of young girls. They were not spared. Any of them that came across us, we shot them. But something struck me. And that was the day I raped my last victim. Something struck me. When I sent two of my boys, was maxed as usual to conceal my identity. So my boys went for her as she was returning from school with her schoolmate. I'm scared. Shh. I'm so scared. What do we do? Don't say a word. Don't want them to see you. Um. No, no, bless us. No. 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 And rape my best friend? It was you! So it was you. Everything is so it was you! Ha! You are wicked! You are wicked! You deserve to die! You deserve to die! Hey, babe! 
Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. You destroyed me. You made me useless. Auntie, please, I beg you. I don't have anywhere to go to. I can't even go back to the village. My mother will just die. I beg you. I'm so sorry. Of course, now they do talk about that before you open your leg for men. I did not open my legs for anybody. Augusta, leave my house. Leave my house. No, I was raped. Eh? Rape indeed. You were raped. When they caught a thief, he will say it's his first time. Now look at it. I'm telling you that I will not keep a pregnant person in my house. Mommy, please now. Look at what you did to yourself. Mommy, please. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mommy, please. Mommy. Let's go. Oh yeah. Carry your bag and go. Oh yeah, carry your bag. Go and meet who rape you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave my house. Leave my house. Leave my house. You know what? I'm living with her. She says no one to listen to her. She said she was raped. Mom, it could happen to anybody. Sharon, are you for real? Are you daring me? Oh yeah, leave your house. Oh yeah, come and leave with her. I don't. You say it's better than this. Imagine this This world is so wicked oh, The poor in pain And no one to help them out Shukubia Ekekelo is tuned. I'm finished. I mean, my life is a total mess. <sighs> Bustina, I told you. I told you to let your auntie know about what happened to you. But you bluntly refused. Now look at it. Like... <sighs> I was so scared. I was so scared. You, you know my auntie. You know her very well, right? Eventually, I told her where she was sending me out of the house, but she never listened. You told her late. You told her very late. Now, what are you going to do? Because you cannot stay here. Here is no safe and healthy for you. Uh, 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 don't, don't you think we should go home and beg your auntie? She will never listen. You know, <laughs> Margaret, please. please, can you do me a favor? What is it? Can I at least stay in your house for the meantime? Uh, my house? You know, 
You know, you, you know it's not possible. With this pregnancy. Hi. <sighs> no, Augustina. My mom will not accept the idea. Hey God. I'm finished. I'm finished. Oh God, you just take my life. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't say that, please. Don't say it. Tell me. What am I living for? Margaret, tell me. What am I living for exactly? My friend. The only solution to this problem now is to just go and beg your auntie. Yes. I will never go back there. The moment she spots me close to her house, she will kill me. I can't even go back to the village either. My mother will kill me and kill herself. I don't even know what to say anymore. Like I'm confused. Please stop crying, Augustina. I don't need these tears now. Please stop. Do you know what? Just, just give me a little time. Let me rush back to the house. My mom might be looking for me now. But I promise, I will not waste time. Eh? Stop crying. I will soon come back. It's okay, I'm going back. Just give me a little time, you see me, okay? So I'm sick, I'm coming. been rejected by all my dreams and aspirations and here I can't face the shame and humiliation that associates with giving birth to a bastard who do I tell him or how the father is death a necessary end to all human races no matter how one dies as for you, the rapist, the day you were born, you would never hear the cry of a baby in your life. You and all those involved in this. Oh, my mother. Mommy. I am so sorry. It wasn't what I wished for.
Six. Six, wake up. Oh, Sharon, you're here. Yes. Six. So this is where you stay? I don't have a choice. How, how, how do you eat? How do you survive? I know you don't have money. I manage with everything that comes my way. It hasn't been easy. What are your plans? I mean, no. Eh? Okay. What, what about, about talking mom into bringing you back? No need. She won't sanction that. Does she know you're here? No? <sighs> okay, um... You have to go now, because I wouldn't want her to trail you down here. No, I don't want to go. You have to, okay? Okay, please. Okay, I'll go, but I'll be back, okay? Please sit and get anything we can get for you, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Continue to live in shame and regret. I am depressed, frustrated, and disorganized. Life has offered me the bitter part of it. I can no longer bear it. I have decided to move out of this land to where no one can find me. Please don't bother looking for me. I'll be fine. I'm so sorry about this decision. I love you, my friend. Thank you for all the care you rendered to me. Alastina, <laughs> no, no, no! You can't just, you can't just live like this. No, Alastina, please. <laughs> why, 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 why would you do this? Why? This is not happening. Oh, God, it's 
to recover from the devastating shock of the unbelievable episode. Behold, there comes the most sacrilegious of all. <laughs> Chama, I I've been looking everywhere for you. I went to your house, I was directed here. I heard what happened. I I came to apologize before I leave. Mike! Good afternoon, Mother. Good afternoon. Mike! Matron Elizabeth from Rich Rock Orphanage Home, Enugu. Have you forgotten? Oh! Hey! The last time I checked on you, I was told you went to Rome. Yes. Nice to meet you. My son has nice grown you so big! Nice to see you again. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, Mike! What is actually going on? Joma, here is your twin brother. I've been telling you about. What? What? Make sure you're joking. Excuse me, ma. Unfortunately, we couldn't meet as we scheduled. Yes. <clears throat> Professor and Mrs. Emenike, your twins. What? what? Augustina left both of you in my gear and ran away. No, what no, is no, happening? No, no, no. This is not happening. Hey. Mike was adopted by a couple in Imo State at a tender age. Years later, Margaret here. Adopted Chioma. I saw my last when he was 14 years old. Look at her. Wicked and heartless woman. Hey! Aren't you a joker? No, 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 no. This is not happening. What is happening here? Huh? Is anything the matter? Margaret? Metro. Can you know? Metro. Uh -huh. This is not just a problem. There is an abomination. Abomination? <laughs> Professor Emenike impregnated Chioma. While Mike here was Chioma's boyfriend. What? Stop. Do you mean Chioma, you have been sleeping with your twin brother? And you're pregnant? For your father. Hey! Stop, 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 stop. 
now somebody should wet me up. Mm. It's unbelievable. Mm. Chama! Chama, come back! Oh my god! Chama! Chama! Whatever you saw. Whatever you saw, you must surely get it back. Whatever you saw, whatever you saw, you must read. That you must read. Be careful in life. Whatever you saw, whatever you saw, you must surely get it back. You can never run away from your shadow. Be careful in life. Be intentional about your every action. Cause you are living a mark on people's life. Live a lasting legacy. For harvest time is near. Oh. That was how my life was shattered. <laughs> when this miserable life tell me, do I want leaving? What am I leaving for? My life is useless. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> My life is useless, I tell you. It's okay, it's okay. Come, let me take you inside. I cannot take this again, but. Give me better bus and baby boy. Only if you know the kind of abomination that has been crafted. to end it all until he surfaced and saved me. 
he would have allowed me to die with the shame. Now you are here. A product of sacrilege. What do I tell the world about you? What would I tell you when you grow up? That my father is your biological father? How would you take it? That I am married to my own father? Oh God. Why me? <laughs> Why did you find me? I've searched for you everywhere. Luckily today, I ran into a farmer who told me he saw someone that matches my description a few days back, headed this direction. So I followed the direction he gave me to this place. Look at what you've reduced yourself to. Choma, why? Are you here to mock me? Mock you? Why? God forbid. You know I've always been here for you. All hope is lost. Ambition. Shattered. And gone with the winds. No. That is not true. There is still hope. There are people you're better than. Remember, it's not your fault. Nika, please spare me the sermons. I wish I was not born. My birthdays has turned to darkness. My stars deserted me. All I see is darkness. How do I cover up the shame? Where do I start from? What do I do? Life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. The fear of dirt follows from the fear of life. A man who lives fully is prepared to die at any time. At first, I was happy I was going to have a child, but when the secret was unveiled, I felt the touch of dirt. What a dead secret! An innocent child born from a harem of sin and deceit. How I wanted to keep you, child. But then looking at what the future holds for you, that would have been the only solution. But now that you are truly gone with the winds to avert the shame, sleep on, my child. You have truly saved yourself the shame and bitterness that would have run in your mind throughout the rest of your life. Sleep on, my child. Good God knows best. In three words, I can sum up everything I have learned about life. It goes on. <laughs>
You can never run away from your shadow. Be careful in life. Be intentional about your every option. Cause you are living a mark on people's life. Live a lasting legacy. For how?